Today, one in every seven of us is a migrant. People migrate for different reasons. Some move in search of better opportunities, others may flee from conflict, natural disaster, or violence. Similarly, one may feel the need to return home, triggered by a desire to reunite with family, by change conditions in either host and transit countries or countries of origin, or by the lack of legal status or work opportunities. Going back home can be a difficult decision. Returning often means finding a job, adjusting to a new lifestyle, reconnecting with family and friends, and making plans for the future. Since 1979, IOM, the UN Migration Agency, has helped over one and a half million people return to their countries of origin through its Assisted Voluntary Return and Reintegration programs, commonly known as AVRR. In the last decade, the number of people benefiting from AVRR has increased due to growing global migration flows. AVRR is an essential component of migration governance as the aspirations of migrants, the needs of communities, and the concerns of governments are all at stake. But how does this translate into practice? AVRR programs provide administrative, logistical, and financial support to migrants who decide to return home but lack the means to do so. This includes individualized counseling with IOM or its partners and is often complemented by reintegration assistance to help beneficiaries rebuild their lives within the communities to which they return. Tailored assistance is provided to migrants in vulnerable situations throughout the return and reintegration process. Such assistance may include family tracing for unaccompanied migrant children, risk assessment for victims of trafficking, or planning for health-related needs during the journey. Voluntariness is key for the preparation of the return, thereby contributing to the sustainability of reintegration. It is important for migrants to understand how AVRR works and know their options to make an informed decision. IOM's counselors and qualified partners accompany migrants throughout this process and beneficiaries can change their mind at any time until departure. Depending on the parameters of each AVRR program, IOM can take care of travel preparations, from arranging all necessary documents and booking tickets to helping migrants embark on the scheduled day of departure. Returnees usually travel on regular commercial flights or buses, just like any other passenger, and can be assisted while in transit. Whenever needed, operational or medical escorts may also be organized. Reintegration assistance is paramount to support returnees' economic self-sufficiency, social stability within their communities, and psychosocial well-being. However, there is no one-size-fits-all model. Reintegration assistance depends on the needs of beneficiaries, the specificity of each program, and the available resources, among other factors. Returnees can receive support to set up income-generating activities, access basic services, or re-establish ties with their families and friends. Continued follow-up with migrants plays an important role in assessing both successes and challenges, which in turn helps IOM and its partners adjust future AVRR interventions. Today, IOM's vast network of offices implements AVRR programs in over 170 countries and territories through the mobilization of committed personnel. To maximize the impact of AVRR programs, IOM cooperates and facilitates dialogue with a wide range of actors worldwide, including governmental stakeholders, international organizations, migrant associations, NGOs, and the private sector, to promote rights-based and dignified solutions for the benefit of all.